Hello, this is Paul again with another demo for you. This one is of the Marconi Instruments Radio Communications Test Set, model number 2955, which is a transceiver tester for uh, field work as well as lab uh, test AM, FM, and OM transceivers. I found a little blurb on the internet that talks about this device and gives a little bit more information and uh, I'd like to read that for you now. Um, this is from the jvgavilla.com website. And uh, what it says here is that the Marconi 2955 is a great radio communication test set. It combines all the in instruments required for transceiver testing uh, within a single unit designed for bench and mobile field service applications in maintenance workshops. The instrument is lightweight, portable, and may be operated from all standard AC supplies or vehicle supplies. Comprehensive facilities are provided for testing all types of AM, FM, and OM mobile radio equipment. Um, its main characteristics are comprehensive testing for AM, FM, OM transceiver up to 1,000 megahertz or 1 gigahertz. Um, uh, it's uh, GPIB or RS-232 for full instrument control. So we have multiple input and output connectors. Uh, it has a digital scope. Um, the DTMF and DCS encoder decoders uh, precision digital readouts and uh, auto range bar charts for rapid uh, testing. And let's see. Uh, menu driven CRT display for 26 stores, with 26 stores for recall and standard settings, system checking and simplex transceivers in less than three seconds. Uh, so it'll check a simplex transceiver in less than three seconds. Amazing. Uh, Built-in self-test and operating guide. We're going to look at a few of these features, mainly the built-in self-test. This device is running perfectly, uh, as far as I can tell. It has uh, many controls. And I don't know if you can see them. I'll kind of scan over them for you. But it's got transfer, receive, and duplex, and uh, just a whole lot of input-output controls uh, for selecting. And uh, it has quite a bit of uh, control, uh, uh, terminals in the back, connectors in the back. The unit has a multi-layer handle you just push in the caps on both sides which i can't do while i'm using my phone and the handle drops at different uh, levels it's lightweight i don't know the total weight i haven't weighed it yet officially but uh, it's very lightweight for a, a device of this size um, i would guesstimate around 10 to 12 pounds um, this one in particular work seems to work fine as i said i uh, Plugged it in, and uh, first I did a safety check to make sure there was no issues with it, and turned it on, and uh, which I'll do now. And you can hear the relays engage. So I'll move this a little closer to the body where you can hear the relays. So the relays engage fine. There they go. Uh, so the internal mechanism is working great. We have an intensity control here in the front for the uh, cathode ray tube. And uh, it has some basic information for about receiver test. Uh, the general frequency is 300 megahertz. And you can see it goes down to... Uh, quite a ways uh, in uh, percentage or decimal points. Um, the level, it's got a level of minus 100 dB, um, modulated frequency of 
one kilohertz and a level of 1.5 kilohertz and then it has your scales for SN and AC F, AF voltage in millivolts and dBs but what I would like to show you is the uh, self-test because what better way to test this system than to run it through its own diagnostic and let's see I believe we do that from here so from the help menu we have uh, these options a built-in uh, guide for the device um, there's a transmitter testing receiver testing duplex testing audio testing you can change the parameters of the device for testing self-test and of course exit the menu now we're going to run the self-test and you'll see what that does it tests different parts of the system the first test passed 1.1 passed 1.2 passed 1.3 passed 1.4 and 3.3 and that's all of the test then it has its online um, uh, mode where you can go through the uh, guide in the help screen it has the transmission uh, information transmitter testing information receiver testing and then it has continue and continue which loops back and forth through the settings and then it has uh, duplex testing and you can loop through the online documentation here for that and return uh, auto testing which works and change parameters it'll go through and help you know what parameters to set and then uh, return to the main screen and everything initializes now to be fair and to be honest i have run this once when it was cold and a couple tests failed that's to be expected since this operating system is from 1987 the uh uh, the the device itself is um, uh, considerably older and uh, I'm sure capacitors need to be changed um, other hardware uh, probably needs to be cleaned the relay uh, is, I'm sure need to be cleaned and you see there's um, a lot of controls so they all need to be cleaned um, I have not taken this unit apart it still has its warranty stickers intact uh, the case has not been opened ever so everything as as it should be and uh, this device is fully functional again I'll run it through the help test to self test again and you'll see that it's working fine um, the only time I had any error code show up is when I ran it when it was cold um, and like I say you got old capacitors in there you got a lot of uh, devices that are heat sensitive and we have had a cold front here in Northeast Georgia believe it or not this morning it was only uh, uh, 62 degrees and right now it's in uh, 
low 70s, mid 70s. So when I first turn this on, I am in my basement. It's probably uh, mid 70s at this time of the day. It is now shortly after 3. But you can see it runs fine. It's uh, just when it's cold, it might generate an error or two, and you just have to let it warm up. But um, for a device made in around 1987, uh, I don't think that's a big deal. And see, you can see the Marconi instrument software version is 13, and it's dated 1987. So the device is working fine. The self-tests are uh, all passing. Everything on the device is working um, uh, that I can check. I mean, I don't have any transceivers. I don't own them kind of devices, and I have no way of testing the functionality of the machine other than to show you that it passes its self-test uh, and it does it without a problem. So uh, the device cabinet is pretty clean. Got a little writing on it there. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of normal wear. Um, I will go ahead and shut it off and show you the back of the unit. And bear with me as I turn it around. <laughs> Well, it weighs a little more than I initially thought. Um, this is the back of the unit. And it has three fuses and a couple connectors there. And it's got a GPIB to IEEE -E -E, uh, connect a converter here with uh, uh, mini switches. Um, so it's got everything that it's supposed to have on it, it's clean. The filters that were in here, of course, totally deteriorated from age. Um, it's got its original panel. As you can see, this label has not been removed. Uh, this warranty label has not been broken. This one over the screw has not been broken. Uh, you can see the condition of the handle. I guess that's probably the worst part of it. Um, it there's nothing functionally wrong with the handle. It's just the discoloration of the metal and oxidation. Um, the cabinet's got some scuffs. Yeah, to be expected, but all in all, it's in really good shape. And uh, so I appreciate you looking at it. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment below. Thank you.